Welcome everyone to my Photoshop tutorial CS4 on digital scrapbooking. This is part one of a two-part series. Uh, my name is Sue and I run a website over at easytoscrapbook.blogspot.com. There you'll find a whole host of uh, scrapbooking resources so do get along there if you can. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a um, a layout from a digital scrapbooking kit that's free to download off the internet and this is partly the result of what we're going to be making today. So we'll get started and we'll just close that down and we'll create a new document that's the first thing. Um, now we need our width to be 12 inches and our height 12 inches so 12 by 12 and a resolution of 300 and do make sure that the colour mode is set to RGB. I'm going to go OK and that will bring up our blank canvas. And the first thing we're going to do is open up our background. So let's get our background open. Now this is a kit that we're using from Jackie Sprague, Echoes of Asia. Thank you Jackie. It's downloadable free from the internet and um, I'm just going to load up our background. Page. Now at the moment our background paper is docked to our new document and to get maximum flexibility here I'm going to undock. So I do that by just holding down the left mouse key and just pulling this down until it starts to form its own window. I'm going to use the move tool, I click, I click inside the window and then I just slide it across and now it'll start, it'll be available on top of my blank canvas for use. And you can see it's slightly off centre so now I'm just going to use the move tool to just nudge it over. Uh, nudge it over a little bit. We're still not quite right are we? Okay there we are now. Okay so that's our background. Now we're going to add um, a couple of ribbons. So to quickly get these onto our our layout I'm going to hold down the control key and select both at the same time and bring them into our bring them into our Photoshop. So I'm going to go back to our untitled document that's our layout and I'm going to bring first of all the stripe in so again I undock and then using the move tool I just bring that onto the page close that out of there as soon as I know that I've got that on my document okay and then just place that at the top and again with the lower ribbon just going to ease that off and put that onto the layout I'm just going to pop that down here at the bottom just place that in the right in the right place yep looking good okay now the next thing is going to um, open up another colour paper, the green one this time, and create our mat. So again the same thing, undock and then just slide that into the um, our layout. Now as you can see it's large and we want to make that a bit smaller so the best way to do this is to go into edit and click on free transform and that gives us total control over this piece, this element and if we hold down the shift key now and start from a uh, corner we can make this smaller and still keep proportion size and this is very important to, to do in Photoshop is to when you're working with images is to make sure that you hold down that shift key and it just means that you don't distort your image in any way. So I'm going to make this a bit um, more rectangular and a bit less square and now I'm going to make it a bit bigger again because I think I've made a little bit on the small side. Okay so I'm just doing this by eye today. We could be using rulers but for this today, no, we're just going to do it by eye. There, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing is to um, 
oh, haven't clicked the checkbox, so that's the thing to remember to do. To click the checkbox to commit your changes. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to bring in a frame, 7x5 frame, and again that'll be docked to our layout, so we just want to bring that down so that we can move that into our, um, our layout. Now that's looking pretty good, but perhaps a little bit on the small side, so let's just go to free transform again, and again holding down a shift key and just give it a bit of a bit, more, bit of a tweak so it just gets a little bit bigger. You might just want to give that a little bit more, just a little bit more. And now we're going to click on this checkbox again and commit our changes. Okay, now take a look in the bottom right hand corner and you'll see that our layers our layers are building up one on top of each other so what Photoshop is doing is every element that we add to this layout has its own layout has its own layer so the, the stripe paper we see here has its own layer this ribbon here we see here has its own layer every single element has its own layer and that makes it so much easier once we've made our layout and we've saved it if we need to change anything we can just go back and just change that layer rather than having to rebuild the whole thing all over again so now we're going to bring in our photograph and just wait for that to appear and we're just going to pull that down just as we've been doing and slide that onto our layout using the move tool and now I'm just going to bring that into place it's kind of, you can see it's a little bit on the small side so we want to give that a little bit of a um, increase in size we can do that with the control T that's a shortcut key so that's a useful one to remember because we do use the transform key quite a lot okay and that's looking pretty good and yes I'm going to commit that change okay and now we're just going to do um, I think we'll just finish there and then part two we'll come back and I'll show you how to add text and some embellishments just to make it this layout really stand out my name is Sue and um, come join me for part two of this digital scrapbooking tutorial thanks very much